wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. And so we stand for the anthems. Quite some performance. Now here comes the response. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-calibre meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive, it changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. So off we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Harry Kane. He's a deadly finisher, Peter, obviously, but he can contribute much more than that for his team. He's got the physical presence to hold the ball up and the awareness to bring pretty much everyone else into play. His best attributes, however, might be his, his enthusiasm, his energy and his desire to win because those things become infectious to others. Hard to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Jorginho. And here's Immobile. Chiesa. Beautifully executed. Marco Verratti. Jorginho. Jorginho gets it out to the wing. Kane, defenders on the back foot. And that is as far as they're going to go. Tries to get it forward quickly. I wonder what you've seen, Jim, over the early moments of the game. Well, I think both teams probably feel it's, it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Forward it goes. Sterling looking to get on the end of this. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Chiesa. It has got tries of shots! Again, let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. Stones goes looking. 
Kyle Walker. Walker drives it forward. England have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Trippier aimed in towards the centre. That's a case of crossing in hope, and unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. Chiesa is on to it and can take it up. And it's Jorginho. Marco Verratti. And here's going for goal! It's anyone's ball. Another chance! That's a half-decent try. Good effort, very good effort. He would have at least wanted to make the keeper work, though. Rice. Across the field it goes. Phillips. Trippier. Jorginho. Hoists it forward. Phillips comes out on top in a really physical duel. And it's played forward. He'll hit it! It's wide, but only just. Kane nearly produced a moment of magic. He knew the strike was pure. Jorginho. Forward it goes. Insignia goes on a charge down the left. Plays it out wide. Lorenzo Insigne. And the ball... Oh, real... It's bounced out! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Insigne with the short one. Walker is there, and he can get that clear. Oh, what a... Oh, shooting chance! They've scored! Well, players of his stature just live for moments like that. Another really important contribution as we near half-time, and it can make such an impact on each mindset. Oh, what a cracking goal, but a cracking touch as well. That's what made it for me. That's brilliant play all round. Italy, great bit. And we hit half time. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they showed glimpses of some wonderful football to groom with the lead at half-time, and that's definitely pleased the fans. I think they'll be looking to keep this intensity up now in the second half. Italy come in, having established that lead, a game where the narrative is, at least in terms of the scoreline, so far, so good. The action has already resumed here. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given.
Marco Verratti. Chiesa. Chiesa. That is terrific skill. He's got options in the box if he gets his head up. Away from immediate danger. Gets the chance to cross. Well read, he sorted that out. Sancho. Maguire. So, still just a goal between them. Stones. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and it's 1-0. And it's Sterling. Shaw is charging up on the overlap. That's what has to be done now, no question about it. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Just has to be done. Played down the flank. Maguire. Walker goes looking. Sancho. He's made sure that that won't get through. And back to the keeper. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and if they're going to try and stop him in this fashion, Peter, um, they're going to really test the referee's patience from here. Looks to thread it through. Marco Verratti. Jorginho. Over to the left. Phillips. Needs a bit of penetration to go with all this possession. Verratti gets it back. Verratti. What an adventurous run from a defender. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Now it's Insigne. Danucci. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Sterling. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. They're more than happy to take the muscular approach. Italy are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Sterling. Phillips still just that single goal and we are nearly done the ball's loose and he's after it Trippier could try cutting inside here one good cross maybe the last chance England have a simple task to find something sustained now and keep the pressure on Benucci hoists it forward almost there and the players can feel it looking to hit the front line and it's played forward Marco Verratti yeah he's fouled him there
Chiesa. And that's that. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Well, a result which owed much to grind and grasp.